My name's Tori, I'm 24 years old. I live in Perth and I've just finished my bricklaying apprenticeship. I wanted to be a bricklayer because there are so many other avenues that I can take once I have become qualified. Also, I love working outdoors. I love the physical side of it. I love being in a team-like environment. It's, um, it's definitely a rewarding job to be in. The ABBTF were my first steps to becoming a bricklayer. The supervisors are always there. They're very easy to talk to, so if I ever had an issue, I would just talk to them about it and um, sort it out. I've learnt so many different things. I can build arches, I could do decorative work, whereas if I was to not do my apprenticeship, all I would know how to do is to lay bricks, just to build a house. I was 21 years old when I started my apprenticeship, so I was a mature age apprentice. If I could have done it when I was 16, I definitely would have. I did a, apply for a lot of um, bricklaying jobs and, and other construction jobs, which I didn't, I didn't get. I do think the main reason I didn't get the job when I was 16, 17 was because I was female, but the times are changing and there are more females um, coming into the industry, which is great to see. I say to other females to give it a shot if it's something that you want to do, something that you're interested in, uh, just do it. Just get in there and give it a shot. I'd say I've been very successful, you know, I've participated in World Skills competition, participated in, in expos and um, I successfully completed my apprenticeship. I was pushing a, a full barrow up a, a ramp and I, I slipped up the ramp, there was sand on it and um, the barrow came down and I went in to the barrow. So maybe just dust off the ramp first before you start walking up it. People definitely think that women can't be bricklayers, but look at me. I'm, I'm very short, I'm quite petite, but I'm, I'm still managing to do the exact same job as the boys are doing. Yeah, it's definitely an illusion that you have to be big and muscly and bulky to be a bricklayer because I'm definitely not one of those things. And um, I even asked one of the boys when I first started if he was going home at the end of the day feeling physically exhausted. And yeah, he was. It was the exact same thing for him as it was for me. You become one of the boys, really. Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't do the job. I definitely had people doubting me left, right and centre, but along the way I did receive a lot of support from the company and my friends and family could see that it's something that I wanted to do and I eventually gained that, that support from them all. With a positive attitude, you just prove that, that they're wrong. Females can do the job. I'm hoping to see more females on site in the near future. I'm fully qualified now and I'm on my way to Melbourne. I'll be working uh, through the ABN group still. They've helped find me a host trainer over there, so I'll be on the tool still. There's always work. If you're a good worker, if your quality of work is at a high standard, you're, you're always going to find work. There is no single best thing about doing a bricklaying apprenticeship. I like all of it, every aspect of bricklaying I love. I loved it. I absolutely love my apprenticeship. I definitely think the three-year apprenticeship has paid off. A lot of people told me that I couldn't do the job because I was female. Uh, but that didn't get to me because it's something that I wanted to do. So I've proven that females can do it as well as I know a few females that are actually doing their apprenticeship right now and they're proving as well that, that it can be done. If I could talk to the people that did doubt me back then, I would probably just show them my certificate and say females can do it. Going home at the end of the day knowing that in 20 or 30 years time I can drive down the street and say hey I built that. 